Hi, I'm Taylor Ocean Moon, and you may be wondering why this place looks so familiar. This is the Broadmoor Kitchen in Denver. It is home to several shows on the Eating Network and is the most televised kitchen in the world. Three months from now, one of our contestants will be launched into superstardom and given the chance to air their show during primetime on the Eating Network. We don't know who that is yet. Could be a fry cook at a fast food joint or a busboy at a five-star restaurant. But that can all change when our judges decide who has the world's greatest cooking show. We have flown in the best cooks from the German Alps all the way to the Australian Outback for them to air their potential episodes right here. Every contestant has been given a crew to film for them, but there's a catch. No retakes. What they film, they must live with. Now, let's see what our judges are looking for. Uh, hi, my name is Tony Morelli, and uh, I own Tony's Pizza Parlor in New York City. Uh, a lot of people say I'm a bit of a but in all honesty, I think society's just a bit soft. This is Canadian. You giving me blue money? You go f yourself. Sorry. Sorry. Get out of uh, what I'm looking for from the contestants is good food number one. Nooks. Get the f out of here. But I think more importantly to me, I want a show that wants me to get off my ass and start cooking right then and there. A good show will always make me get off my ass and start cooking. My name is Jenny Renee, and you might recognize me from Jenny's Fried Eats, where we also film in the Broadmoor Kitchen. Now that we got our teeth nice and brewed, all we gotta do is add a little bit of sugar to it. And that, sweetheart, it's how you make traditional southern sweet tea. <laughs> now, I've been cooking for a long time, so I want the contestants to bring forth their most mm. delicious foods. I'll be judging the contestants on both presentation and flavor. Um, so, uh, so I was going to high yoga one day, which is yoga, um, where you get pretty high. And I was getting really blazed in my car beforehand. And I got in the building and I got pretty lost, man. So I found this random ass room and I see the judges. <laughs> and they're like, yo. <laughs> so I was just like, what up? Like, and uh, they were like, you hungry? I was like, yeah. Our first two contestants are Ethan and George Beaverton from Staines, England. They will be presenting The Brothers Beaverton, a show with classic dishes from English culture. Shown on your screen are the judges' scorecards. Their performance will be rated by the delivery of the show. A key here is what Tony said earlier. A show that makes you want to get off your behind and start cooking. Next, flavor. Pretty straightforward here with the experience level of our judges. And finally, presentation. This involves plating aesthetic, as well as food appearance. Judges will be scoring each category out of 10. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Fine, thank you. So, uh, what are you showing us today? Uh, today, we are pleased to be presenting The Brothers Beaverton, a traditional English cooking show where the world will finally get to see how lovely and exquisite English food can be. So you guys are brothers then, I take it? Half brothers, yes. Oh, so y'all grew up cooking together. Well, Ethan and I are more of his hype man. <laughs> my, my balmy hype man. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely a bit balmy, yeah. Barmy? Oh, right, the Americans. Um, means I'm kind of nuts, like not all there. Oh. No, in a good way though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yo, in honesty, I have tried some British food, and it kind of sucks. Well, how so? Like, boring. Ah, well, you must have had an American version then, because I can guarantee you, you're like ours. <laughs> that was cheeky, bro. It says here that y'all are trying to reunite your family. That's so sweet. Some no, of us are quite close already. 
What was that? Uh, no, no, nothing. nothing. No, it's no. just jokes. Just jokes. Just joking. Go okay. ahead. Right. Sensing the vibes. I'm here really off right about now. No, no, we're, we're fine. Uh, can we just get on with the episode, please? Yeah. All right. Hello everyone and welcome to The Brothers Beaverton, a traditional English cooking show where my brother George and I will be taking you back through history to make brilliant traditional English dishes. Everything from bangers and mash all the way to English breakfast. And we'll be showing you how to do this all from your very own kitchen. My name is Ethan Beaverton and this is my brother George. Where is he? Get him on set. I think he's in the loo. You mean bathroom? George! What? Coming out, the show's starting! Oh, God, it's really... You didn't give me enough time to get me makeup on! Uh... What's this for? What? The paint? Yeah. <laughs> you, you said he was doing an English team. Uh... It's... Theme. English theme. Uh... <sighs> for the food? No, I just I feel bloody stupid now because that makes way more sense. No, I, I was just looking in the mirror. I was like, "This is bloody stupid. Why would Ethan want me to do this?" Yeah, well, I feel about as bloody stupid as you are. <sighs> Let's get the show on, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, "How come his brothers we don't look nothing like?" Well, it's a very simple story. We got the same dad but different mums. Oh, so stupid. one day when his mum was walking his buggy around the park, <laughs> our dad shagged me mum and under his back. George, door. stop! What? Uh, it's not appropriate to be saying on the telly. I just figure it's better than telling them the truth now, because if we get famous or whatever, maybe so, somebody George, will be like, stop. Why is your brother's blood? Ladies and gentlemen, I have a brother. Now, you're out of no line. You're taking it too far. You're taking it too far. You're taking it too far. Fish and chips. Do you know what I'm talking about? Shut up! You know! Right, now, as I tried saying a moment ago, we're going to be beginning with fish and chips. Going to need to start with a large rim bowl. Going to do flour. And some cornstarch, bit of salt, tad of baking powder, season lightly with some pepper, right. George! What? Come and help. With what? You didn't tell me to do nothing. You can cut the bloody chips. What's that? Nothing! Wink over. I didn't say anything! Too out. Right, so... While I'm working on the rest of our batter, George here is going to be cutting half inch thick slices to make our chips. Now, you're going to want to add some sparkling water. Half an inch thick. They'll shrink in the oil. No point that much, no way! The recipe says half an inch, so cut the bloody chips half a bloody inch, you bloody skyver! Don't be such an asshole. Right. I'm going to whisk continuously. Now, once our batter is completed, you're going to put it in the fridge for 30 minutes to an hour, and when he's done with the chips, we're going to put it in a pan of cold water and let it simmer on the stove for three to four minutes. I got it. Chill out. Relax. It's cooking. Now. Oh, Ethan, what sort of a dish are you doing? Moment. I'm going to prepare our fillets really quick. Oi, what sort of a dish are you doing? Spotted Richard. <laughs> Don't laugh. It's not what it's called. You have never called it that in your entire life, Ethan. I know I've never called it that, but that's what it's called now. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> What's it called, Ethan? It's called Spotted Richard. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't, Ethan. Tell him the truth. George. We're on television. We're on television. Exactly. Tell him the truth. You need to calm yourself. No, you tell him the truth. Tell him what it's called. Well, for it ain't called Spotted Richard. Say it, Ethan. Say the name! Come on! Say it, Bob! 
Say it. Spotty dick. <laughs> okay, it's spotty dick. Are you bloody happy? <laughs> oh, God, get it. Now you've got the crew in on it. Oh, no, it's hilarious, isn't it? No, you minger! It's like the dessert. Now, can we finish up with what we're doing? We got hey, hey, We don't need to be so argy bargy, bro. This is supposed to be the brothers' beaver team. We can't go long now. It's pronounced brothers. That's what I said. No, you keep calling it brothers. It's brothers with a T H. Brothers Beaverton. It's not what the man it says, bro. Right, uh, let's go to commercial, shall we? Um, George, throw all that on the stove, please. What exactly? All of it. All right, somebody go fix the banner. Welcome back everyone. Here we have our finished fish and chips. Look at our golden Nintendo those fillets are. Mm. That's the dog's box that is. Tender and juicy. Right. Now, we'll be moving on to our next dish. Ethan! Ethan, look, we saw a call from Dad! He says he's decided we bring the family back to go before cooking. Uh, we're in the middle of filming. I know! I, I just thought you'd be happy. I am, but come on. You don't seem happy. I'm delighted. Let's go. Move on. Huh? Uh, right. So, another large roomy bowl. We're going to be making our Spotted Richard. It originated in 1849 and was referred to as either Plum Bolster or Spotted Dick. <laughs> it has been recently renamed to Spotted Richard and to be less offensive. <laughs> You done? I guess. <laughs> Go get your tin. All right. Oh, oh. Speaking of spotted dick, you remember girlfriend Sarah? Well, she was spit as bro. Yeah, George. I remember the girl I was against you. Well, guess what? <laughs> now she's pregnant with Jamie's kid. <laughs> you remember Jamie, right? The one with the square head. <laughs> As I was saying, uh, for our spotted Richard, we're going to need to have the oven at 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit for you Americans. I'm going to have George here get that done for me. George, come on. George. Uh, right, so, uh, spotted dick. Right, um, so we're going to need another larger bowl, and we're going to need to do a, a flour, yeah, a bit of salt, a bit of baking powder, cornstarch. I think I took it too far. Uh, a bit. 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 You know, maybe George is right. Maybe the only important thing is family. I mean, they're the only ones there for me from the beginning. I love my brother. He's an important pillock, I know, but he's the only one that's really been there for me from the get and hasn't ever stopped. One time, 
we were in uh, primary school, this big pudgy bloke, uh, James Hannaford, comes up to me at the top of the playground slide and pulled down my trousers in front of everyone, pants and all. I ran to the loo crying and when George found out about it, he ran down the hall into James's class and rugby tackled him to the floor and punched him about 20 times in the face. Broke his nose, his jaw, knocked out a couple of his teeth and he got suspended for three months. When I asked him why he did it, he just said, No wankstain's gonna make me brother cry. You know, you think as the uh, older brother that I'd be the one looking out for him, but it's kind of always been the other way around. So I guess that all that really matters in life is that Thank you for watching the Brothers Beaverton. Join us next time for some traditional English breakfast. Uh, do you want to say anything? No, only to apologize for our behavior, sir. Did you finish the um, Spotted Richard? Uh, yes, ma'am. I was able to complete the Spotted Richard. Well, let's try it, I say. Yeah. Hmm. All right. You know what? I take back everything I said about the British. This is really bomb. Yeah, really good. It's a shame you show so pitiful. I love the texture in this. It is so fluffy. Yes, exactly. Uh, Spotted Richard really can be quite lovely when you get past the name. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, the food's good, but... You guys gotta figure your shit out. Like, this is ridiculous. So, to be honest, I'm gonna have to say it's a five overall. It's a seven from me. The food is delightful, but y'all need to fix your relationship. You know what? It's a seven from me too, man. You guys have made a believer out of me. What you've shown me today is that British food doesn't taste really bad. Great. 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 Awesome. Well, uh, thank you all, and again, our sincerest apologies for yeah, our behavior. We won't do it again or nothing. Like, don't worry about that. Well, that about does it for the Brothers Beaverton. Their show received a two from Tony, with the only word left on his scorecard being pitiful. He did, however, give them a 7 in flavor and a 6 on presentation, which puts his overall average at 5. Jenny scored the boys a little higher with a 4 on the show, saying it could use a little work, but granted them an 8 in both flavor and presentation, giving them an overall score of a 6.7. And Peter changed his 7, saying, never mind, I love this stuff, and gave them solid 10s across the board. All he had to say was, British food is lit.